What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today we are going to be having a look at the new Google Assistant. This launched with Google's new messaging service Allo. I'm going to be interested to see how Allo does. Hangouts has kind of been floundering for a while and a lot of Google's attempts or forays into the social media sphere haven't gone particularly well. But anyway, we're going to see how this does in the future. But for now, we are going to be looking at Google's new Assistant, which is aptly named Google Assistant. This takes a lot of the power and functionality of Google Now and makes it kind of more charismatic and more responsive. So it's a much closer experience to what you get on something like Cortana or Siri. So as a quick demonstration, we are going to ask this a couple of different things. What do you think of the new iPhone 7? And this will respond with slightly more character than, uh, than traditionally in Google Now. I'm an Android fan, but I might be biased. I'm sure you are. Tell me a joke. Did you hear about the quarry that went out of business? They hit rock bottom. Oh, it's even got a little emoji. It's, it's got a little, a little mountain and a little, uh, a little pickaxe. That's cute. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of character to it. At the bottom here, whenever you ask it anything, be that serious or, uh, or not serious, you get these contextual replies that it automatically generates. So I can hit one more and it will automatically pull me out a, another quote unquote joke. Um, I am now going to tap play a game and see what it does. Chat games, play around in chat, let's try that. Emoji movies, guess the emoji title, let's do that. This game uses emoji puzzles, test your cinematic knowledge, are you ready? Yes. I was born ready. Hmm. So we've got a house and chips. House fries. Is that a thing? House chips. This 1998 drama was written by Vince Gilligan and stars Drew, but I have literally no idea. Uh, pass. Will it tell me? Home fries. Like, ugh, so I kind of got it. As you can see, there are much more things you can do within the assistant. All this fun stuff is very well and good, but how does this function if you actually ask it something serious? So, will I need an umbrella tomorrow? Okay, so you actually have to quit out of that before you ask it anything else, which is, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? Something of a classic question. So it now replies in kind of its own voice, so it looks like a pleasant day. It then pulls you up a Google Now kind of styled card, which if you tap, will take you to weather. And it also gives you, again, these quick response buttons at the bottom, so I can ask immediately about the weekend. I can ask to get this information sent to me daily. Um, I'm gonna hit always use Celsius because I'm a Brit, we love Celsius. Um, other cool things you can do is schedule the assistant to do things for you throughout the day. So for example, can you give me news about Donald Trump? And it will now pull me up some news about Donald Trump. What I can do is hit it so I get this daily. If I hit send me daily, it will then ask me which time I want to be sent this and I think 8 a.m. is a bit early for Trump, so let's go for 10 a.m. And this will now add it to my subscriptions. If you tap here, you can see all of your active subscriptions. So if you want to get rid of one, you can simply hold it down and hit delete. Show me a painting by Pablo Picasso. Here we go. So as you can see, it's pretty much like Google Now, but it's skinned to be a little bit more personable. I'm going to be very interested to see how this actually replaces Google Now. In the most recent version of Google search app, there is actually no reference or mention to Google Now, which suggests the whole thing is probably going to be phased out in the very near future. Google Now is currently kind of fragmented. You've got the home screen, you've then got your Google dashboard, and then you also have Google Now on tap, which will pull up relevant information from the screen that you are on. I can imagine that in the future this is all going to get condensed into the Google Assistant and I really hope that's the way that it goes. Using the Google Assistant as a much more sort of charismatic front end to Google Now and all the power and functionality that has um, because obviously it knows basically everything about you which is both a negative and a positive depending on which way you spin it. But I hope Google Assistant does tap into this a little bit more powerfully in the future. 
For now, it feels like another slightly fragmented product attached to Allo Messenger. Obviously, as well as just messaging, as well as just messaging the Google Assistant, you can also initiate a Google Assistant search within a message to anyone else by just typing at Google. This is really cool. Um, it allows you to share information very quickly. It's easy for planning days out and stuff like that. But I would like to see this functionality implemented sort of across the board, across your whole phone. So that guys is a real quick look at Google Assistant for Android. If you haven't got the new Google Assistant and Allo app from the Play Store, you can go to the link in the description and download it from the APK instead. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like this if it has been useful. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on all my social media and whatnots with the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.